A large attendance was on hand for the annual Sharon Timlin race to fight ALS. The event took place at the Hopkinton High School fields. HCAM's Mike Terosian was on the scene. We've never done this before, <laughs> but we're going to try our best. First time. Woo! Woo! Welcome everyone to the 16th annual Sharon Tilly Memorial Event. My name is Abby Rosenberg, this is April Gallagher, and Dave Kruger somewhere. <laughs> directors for the event. We welcome you and thank each and every one of you for being here today. We are so grateful and inspired by seeing everyone here. We have all come together to make a difference and we have by raising two million dollars to help cure ALS. <laughs> Dr. Brown and his amazing team at UMass Medical School are making tremendous progress towards a cure and we are grateful for the work that you are all doing. A very special welcome to the entire family, Timlin family, and to Tim Wakefield. Thank you for your ongoing dedication and support. Thank you to every volunteer here, every runner, every sponsor, every fundraiser, and especially to the amazing committee that pulls this thing off year after year. Have a great run, or walk, or crawl, or whatever you're gonna do. Please take a minute to check out the Faces of ALS, which is on the Family Fun Day. We've got lots of great things to do out there, so please take a moment to eat, listen to the music, have some fun, and check out our amazing raffle and silent auction items. One last thing, I hope that everyone can stop by at around 10.30 a.m. We are making a brief and very special presentation over by the band, so I hope to see you there. And now it's my great pleasure to introduce Mike Timlin. Once again, from my heart, I want to say thank you to all the runners that continue to support this race. Um, it's an awful reason that we're here, but it, it's great to see so many familiar faces that I see every year supporting a great cause and trying to give Dr. Brown everything that he needs to, to wipe this out. So thank you from me and my family. Uh, anyone who has been touched by this disease knows exactly how I am feeling. Uh, and we all want to say thank you if you are not able to come up and say thank you. I will say that for, for all of us. So thank you very much for that. I want to say thank you for traveling uh, out here, back east, for all the people from Colorado. Uh, we've had a, an unbelievable uh, network out there, and it's great to, for them to come out and support a cause that we feel so dear to our heart. Um, my wife's back there somewhere, so I want to say thank you to her because she leads our whole group. It's, it's amazing what she does for us, and we just kind of follow her around, it's great. So if you see her out there, and she's crawling or walking,
It's a wonderful day for a race. Um, obviously, yesterday's weather was awful. It was rainy, nasty, but somehow it seems that we always come up with a, a beautiful day. We've only had one rain, one rainy day in 16 years. It's amazing. Well, every race out here is special. I mean, you get to see some of the the patients that are affected by ALS. Uh, we get to remember some of the people that we've lost from ALS, and we get to raise a lot of money for a, a thing that we're trying to wipe out that's just awful. We had a great turnout, great weather, great people. This is a great community, and we're excited to raise a lot of money to strike ALS out of the ballpark. We are incredibly excited that there are new therapies that are making real progress toward ALS treatments. Some that have come out recently, some that are in progress now, but all are very hopeful. We're closer than ever before. And I have to say the Timlin race has been instrumental in helping move us to the goal line.